welcome to the chapter on investment analysis and portfolio management today the chapter is portfolio evaluation in portfolio evaluation we analyze the performance of a portfolio and this is the last step of portfolio management in the portfolio management we do portfolio analysis portfolio selection and portfolio revision with the purpose of maximizing returns and minimizing risk and portfolio evaluation examine to what extent the objective has been achieved so ultimately by this portfolio evaluation we are going to evaluate the performance of the portfolio to evaluate the performance of a portfolio we can use some method yeah we can see there are three methods broadly used the first one is sharp ratio and this ratio is developed by william sharp and the second one is trano ratio which was developed by jack trano and the third one is jensen ratio which was developed by michael jensen so by using this three ratio we can evaluate the performance of a portfolio so the sharp ratio already we are aware that it is developed by william sharp and this sharp ratio is also known as viewer to variability ratio so the formula of sharp ratio is that in the upper level we should deduct the rf from the rp and the result should be divided by sigma p here rp means realized return on the portfolio that means rp means the actual return from the portfolio and rf means risk free rate and sigma p means the standard deviation of portfolio and generally we know that standard deviation means total risk in sharp ratio we use the total risk to get the ratio and this ratio is also known as reward to variability ratio on the other hand the trainer ratio it is also known as reward to volatility ratio the formula of trainer ratio is very similar to the sharp ratio we can see the upper level of the formula rp minus rf and it is divided by beta p here the beta means systematic risk so systematic risk of the portfolio so again i am repeating rp means the actual return from the portfolio rf risk free rate and beta p means the systematic risk and on the other hand Jensen ratio it is developed by Michael Jensen and this is also known as differential return so the formula of differential return is that here we can see alpha p this alpha p is indicating the differential return okay so we can uh, get the differential return if we deduct the ERP I mean the expected return of portfolio from the RP that RP means actual return of the portfolio so in Jensen ratio we calculate the differential return here alpha p is indicating the differential return how can we get this differential return we should deduct the expected return of the portfolio from the actual return whenever we are calculating the expected return of the portfolio we should use a model which is known as CAPM model capital asset pricing model we are already aware about this so the formula of CAPM model is that by using this CAPM model we will get the expected return of the portfolio so what is the CAPM model here we can see RA plus beta P beta means system degrees then it should be multiplied by rm minus rf so here rm means market return and rf means risk free rate applying this cpm model we will get the expected return then we will deduct the expected return from the actual return to get the differential return so let's do practice with a practical problem here we can see there is a question the question is here we can see the portfolio a and portfolio z and this is the market index portfolio so the actual return of portfolio is 12 percent and for the z portfolio the actual return is 19 percent here the standard deviation we know the standard deviation means total risk so the total risk for this, uh, portfolio a is uh, 18 percent and portfolio z for 25 percent and the m for 20 percent so these are the standard deviation i mean the total risk on the other hand the beta this is the systematic risk here the beta of portfolio a is 0.7 and beta of Z portfolio is 1.3 and market beta 1 and we can see the risk free rate of return is 7% so from this question we have to find out the performance of the portfolio by using sharp ratio trainer ratio and Jensen ratio sharp ratio is also known as reward to variability ratio trainer ratio is also known as reward to volatility ratio and Jensen ratio is also known as differential return by this question we are going to calculate the ratio to measure the performance of the portfolio so the first one is sharp ratio ratio which is also known as reward to variability ratio we already know that the formula is rp minus rf divided by sigma p here rp means actual return and rf means risk free rate and sigma p that means standard deviation and standard deviation means total risk okay so from the question we can see the actual return is 12 for a 19 for z so here 12 minus 7 here 7 is the risk free rate from the question we can see the risk free rate is 7 percent so the actual return is 12 for portfolio a and minus 7 that means the risk free rate and divided by 18 here 18 is the systematic risk 
or sigma portfolio A from the question we can see this is the 18 so this 18 is the standard deviation of portfolio A and for portfolio J the standard deviation is 25 so here we can see the we divide 25 and here 19 is the actual return of portfolio Z and minus 7 is the refree rate and for portfolio M the actual return is 15 and the standard deviation is 20 so 15 minus 7 7 is the risk rate and divided by 20 so the result is sharp ratio for portfolio A is 0.28 and sharp ratio for Z is 0.48 and sharp ratio for M this is the market index 0.40 so whenever we are evaluating performance how can we measure which portfolio is performing well in that case we have to compare the portfolio performance with the market performance here the market portfolio performance is 0.40 so if we compare this performance with the other portfolio we can see the jet portfolio performance is 0.48 so it is higher than the market the market ratio is 0 0.40 comparing this the portfolio jet is performing well because it is higher 0.48 and but in case of portfolio a we can see it is lower than the market here the market is 0 0.40 but performance of portfolio a is lower here we can see 0.28 so comparing the market portfolio the jet portfolio is performing well on the other hand the trainer ratio it is also known as reward to volatility ratio the formula is very similar to the sharp ratio here we should just change the lower case i mean we divide the upper level with the beta p here beta p means systematic risk so the upper level is rp minus rf rp means actual return of the portfolio rf means risk free rate then we divide by the beta p that means the system risk of the portfolio from the question we can see the beta for portfolio a is 0 0.7 here the lower level 0 0.7 then the beta for portfolio z is 1.3 so we can see 1.3 and the beta for market index is 1.0 so here market index 1.0 so the upper level is very similar to the sharp ratio we can see 12 minus 7 12 is the actual return of the portfolio then minus 7 is the risk rate then divided by beta so here the beta for portfolio is 0 0.7 portfolio z 1.3 and market 1.0 the trend ratio is showing that the portfolio a result 7.14 portfolio z 9.23 and portfolio m 8.0 decision making rule is very similar to the sharp ratio whenever we are comparing the performance we have to compare ratio with the market ratio here the market ratio is 8 and comparing this one the portfolio z is doing very well because it is higher 9.23 but in case of portfolio a it is lower 7.14 so here the market ratio is 8 for the portfolio a is 7.14 so the performance of portfolio a is lower than the portfolio z so again i'm repeating this is the trainer ratio whenever we are comparing performance we have to compare with the market return so here the trainer ratio is 8 for market and comparing this the jet portfolio is doing well because it is higher 9.23 on the other hand we can see the Jensen ratio it is also known as differential return before applying the differential return we have to calculate the expected return using the CAPM model by using the CAPM model formula we will get the expected return so the expected return formula is RF plus beta p beta p means system degrees of the portfolio multiplied by RM minus RF so this is the formula to get the expected return here we can see the expected return of portfolio a 7 7 is the risk period plus 0.7 this is the beta for portfolio a from the question we can see the beta for portfolio a is 0.7 and portfolio z for 1.3 and portfolio m1 here we can see the expected return of portfolio z is 7 plus 1.3 1.3 is the systematic risk or beta 15 is the market return minus 7 this is the risk period the expected return of portfolio a is 12.6 and expected return of portfolio z is 70.4 so after getting this expected return we should apply the formula of differential return so what is the formula here we can see alpha p alpha p indicating the differential return and it can be calculated by deducting the erp i means the expected return from the actual return so we should write the actual return that we should deduct the expected return which was calculated in the upper level so differential return of portfolio a 12 12 is the actual return from the question we can see this is the 12 percent is the actual return for portfolio a actual return of portfolio z is 19 so we are 12 and 19 is the actual return we should deduct the expected return calculated in the upper side we can see the expected return of portfolio a is 12.6 and the expected return of portfolio z is 17.4 so if we deduct the expected return from the actual return the differential return for portfolio a is minus 0.6 on the other hand the differential return for jet portfolio is 1.6 what is the way of deciding which portfolio is doing very well in case of Jensen ratio if the differential return is negative then the performance is poor but if the differential return is positive the performance is good so here we can see the differential return for portfolio a is minus 0.6 so we can say that this portfolio is performing very poor on the other hand the 
differential return of portfolio jet it has positive return 1.6 so it's doing very well so in Jensen ratio if the differential return is negative the performance is poor and if the differential return is positive the performance is good so here we can see the jet portfolio is performing in a superior position in sharp ratio we have seen that jet portfolio is doing well in the trainer ratio we also have seen that the jet portfolio is performing well and as well as in the Jensen ratio we also can see that the differential return of jet portfolio is doing very well so in every aspects the jet portfolio is performing well so these are the formula I'm repeating this is the sharp ratio and this is the final ratio and this is the junction ratio to measure the performance of a portfolio thank you